In today's episode, I'll be presenting some of the most popular species of deer. Each species has unique features that make them easy to identify. I invite you to watch the video, and I hope the information shared will help you recognize these beautiful animals. White-tailed deer. The white-tailed deer is a medium-sized deer native to North and Central America. It's named for the characteristic white underside of its tail, which it raises as a warning signal when alarmed. White-tailed deer have reddish-brown coats in the summer that turn grayish-brown in the winter. They are highly adaptable and can be found in a variety of habitats, including forests, fields, and suburban areas. Males, bucks, grow antlers which they shed annually, while females, does, are smaller and do not have antlers. White-tailed deer are known for their agility and can run at speeds up to 30 miles per hour, leaping as high as 10 feet in the air. Mule deer. The mule deer is a deer species native to Western North America. It is named for its large, mule-like ears, which are a distinguishing feature. Mule deer have a stockier build compared to white-tailed deer and exhibit a distinctive black-tipped tail. Their coat is typically grayish-brown. And males have forked antlers that branch out equally. Mule deer are well adapted to a variety of habitats, including mountainous regions, deserts, and forests. They are known for their unique bounding leap called stotting, where all four feet leave the ground simultaneously. Red deer. The red deer is a large deer species native to Europe, Asia, and parts of North Africa, with introduced populations in New Zealand, Australia, and Argentina. Red deer are known for their reddish-brown coats, which can darken in winter. Males are notable for their impressive branching antlers, which they shed and regrow annually. These antlers can become quite large and complex as the stags age. Red deer are social animals, often forming herds, especially during the breeding season, known as the rut. During the rut, stags use their antlers to spar with other males for dominance and the right to mate. Red deer typically inhabit woodlands, grasslands, and mountainous regions. Wapiti The elk, also known as wapiti, is one of the largest species of deer, native to North America and East Asia. Elks are distinguished by their large size, with males weighing up to 1,000 pounds and having impressive, sprawling antlers that they shed and regrow annually. These antlers can reach lengths of up to 4 feet. Elk have a light brown or tan body with a darker brown or almost black neck and head, and a characteristic pale rump patch. During the fall mating season, known as the rut, Bulls emit loud, high-pitched bugling calls to attract females and assert dominance over other males. Elk are highly social animals, often found in large herds, especially during winter. They inhabit a range of environments, including forests, meadows, and mountainous regions. Moose. The moose is the largest species of deer, found in northern regions of North America, Europe, and Asia. Moose are easily recognized by their massive size, long legs, and distinctive humped shoulders. Males have unique, broad, palm-like antlers that can span up to six feet across and are shed and regrown annually. Moose have a long, flexible nose and a dewlap called a bell hanging from their throat. Their fur is dark brown, and they are well adapted to cold climates, with a thick coat and the ability to move easily through snow and water. 
Moose are generally solitary and are often found in forested areas near lakes, rivers and marshes, where they feed on aquatic plants, shrubs and tree bark. Roe deer The roe deer is a small deer species native to Europe and parts of Asia. Known for its reddish-brown coat in summer, which turns grayish-brown in winter, the roe deer is well camouflaged in forested environments. Males grow small, short antlers with typically three points on each, and they shed and regrow them annually. Roe deer have a distinctive white rump patch that becomes more prominent when they are alarmed. They are highly agile, adapted to dense woodlands, and prefer habitats with mixed vegetation for both cover and food, including shrubs, grasses, and herbs, Roe deer are known for their quiet, elusive behavior. Sika deer. The Sika deer, native to East Asia, is a medium-sized deer known for its spotted coat, which is reddish-brown in summer and darker in winter. The white spots are a defining characteristic, resembling plum blossoms, which is why it is also called the Japanese deer or plum blossom deer. In winter, the spots become less visible. Sika deer can look similar to fallow deer in summer, but the two can be distinguished by their rumps. Fallow deer have long tails with a black stripe, while Sika deer have shorter, all white tails. Additionally, male fallow deer have broad, flattened antlers, whereas Sika deer antlers are pointed. Sika deer are known for their vocalizations, including whistles and barks, with males becoming particularly vocal during the rut. <coughs> fallow deer. The fallow deer is a medium-sized deer native to Europe but introduced worldwide. It is known for its strikingly variable coat colors, ranging from pale fawn with white spots, common in summer, to dark brown or even black. Its most identifiable feature is the broad, flattened, palmate antlers found in males, which are unique among deer species. Fallow deer also have long tails with a black stripe running down their length and surrounded by a white rump patch, making the tail area distinctive. Axis deer. The Axis deer, or Chital, is a medium-sized deer native to the Indian subcontinent. Recognized for its striking reddish-brown coat, adorned with white spots that remain visible year-round. These spots, along with its white underside and throat, are distinctive features. A prominent dark brown stripe running along the Chital's back is its most defining characteristic. Axis deer are highly social animals, forming large herds often led by a dominant male. They typically inhabit grasslands, forests, and areas near water sources. Reindeer or caribou The reindeer, known as caribou in North America, is a large, cold-adapted deer native to Arctic, subarctic, and boreal regions. Both males and females grow antlers, a unique trait among deer, with males typically having larger, more complex antlers. Reindeer have thick insulating fur that varies from brown to white, depending on the season, and a dense undercoat to protect against extreme cold. Their large, specialized hooves are adapted for walking on snow and soft ground, and they act as effective paddles when swimming. Reindeer are highly migratory and can travel vast distances in herds, seeking food such as lichens, mosses, and shrubs. Pere David's deer. The Pere David's deer, also known as the Milu, is a large deer native to China, but now mostly found in captivity due to near extinction in the wild. It is notable for its unusual appearance, with long legs, a stocky body, and a shaggy reddish-brown coat in summer that turns gray in winter. One of its most distinctive features is its antlers, which curve backward and then forward, a trait unlike most deer species. Pear David's deer are semi-aquatic, often found near marshes and rivers, and are strong swimmers. 
They feed on grasses, aquatic plants, and soft vegetation. The species was saved from extinction through breeding programs and is considered a symbol of conservation success. Muntjac deer. The muntjac deer, commonly known as the barking deer, is a small deer species, native to South and Southeast Asia. Recognized for its compact size, rounded body, and short, often reddish brown fur. Males are distinctive among deer due to their small, simple antlers and elongated upper canine teeth that resemble tusks, contributing to their unique appearance. These deer are well known for their bark-like vocalizations, which are used as alarm calls or during the breeding season. Their small stature, tusks, and characteristic barking calls are among their most distinguishing features. Notably, muntjacs are considered one of the oldest species of cervides, reflecting their ancient evolutionary lineage. Brocket deer The brocket deer comprises several small to medium-sized deer species, native to Central and South America. They are known for their compact, stocky build and short legs, which help them navigate dense forests and underbrush. Their coats vary in color, ranging from reddish-brown to grayish, depending on the species and habitat. A distinguishing feature of brocket deer is the presence of small, simple antlers in males, typically unbranched or minimally branched. These deer are solitary and elusive, often active during dawn and dusk. Brocket deer are well adapted to forested environments, making their ability to remain hidden one of their most notable survival traits. Water deer. The water deer is a small deer species native to China and Korea, known for its unique appearance and behavior. Unlike most deer, it lacks antlers. Instead, males are characterized by prominent, elongated upper canine teeth that resemble tusks giving the species its distinctive look. The absence of antlers and the presence of tusks are the most notable features distinguishing the water deer from other species. <laughs>